Hey there YouTube, Super Skookas here. I'm going to make a 2014 in the bag for starting the year at least. Uh, it's Christmas and just got a new club. So I'll update. Uh, start at the bottom with a putter. So it's a Cleveland Classic number 7. Um, you can see all the stats. It's the HB, or the Huntington Beach, which is just the more traditional satin finish, sort of, um, it's 34 inches, 33 is sort of my optimal length, so I sort of choked down on it a bit, um, and then I got my 60 sill, uh, CG12, 10 degrees of bounce, uh, stock Cleveland traction shaft, and then a Callaway Warbird, uh, 56 degree, uh, stock grip, stock shaft, so, it's just like a uniflex wedge flex shaft. And then my irons are still uh, Peerless, the standard DTW forged, whatever that is. And then the shafts are R300Us. So they're just R300s, except the U is that the, um, the tip is parallel for a longer time and that creates a softer tip section so it launches higher and spins slightly more and then with a red metalist grip and then that's four through pitching wedge and then I have a three iron long three iron replacement club Mizuno MP fly high 21 degrees three iron uh, this is what I got today and it has an S300 in it. Um, I'm probably going to get some new irons next summer as I get caddying. So, I'll be saving up. And then three hybrid, which is 19 degrees, is an A7. Um, I haven't quite tested out the gapping yet, but hopefully it'll work. This is like an, like an inch longer and two degrees stronger. Hopefully it'll be work out well. And this is uh, stiff. AXIV Core US Team Omiya uh, Pro Force and it's 85 grams uh, it's hybrid shaft and no it's I believe yeah it's 85 grams and it's stiff I'm gonna need to get uh, my next iron is gonna have to be stiff just because my swing speed's at like 100 right now hitting it 260, 270, and then my driver is a Mizuno MP600, so it's sort of like a slider, except older. I got this one, my Nike driver shaft snapped earlier in the season. Uh, it's 10.5, and then the weights are in the 3 and the 4, so that puts the CG slightly further back so it launches higher. And then the shaft is an old Basara, and it's 73 grams regular flex and then it's tipped quite a bit and the length of the club is only around like 44 inches so it sits pretty neutral red metalist grip um, and then I almost forgot to mention my gap wedge which is a 51 degree Mizuno MPT uh, 6 degrees of bounce I've had that for a while so next season I'm probably going to get some new irons, maybe new wedges. So I'll get some the uh, single set of wedges and then ball pocket. I just have a mix of golf balls right now. Sort of testing out, finding what I like. Uh I generally go yellow for the winter. Haven't played in about a month just because all the courses have closed for winter. It's snowing. So, I've got just like four Pro V1s, and then the rest are all yellow that a kid sold to me. Sold me 36, like, mid-range and uh, top-end golf balls for uh, 36, no, for $30, so less than a dollar per ball. I'm happy with that. And then, got some tees, and I keep a purple marker to mark my golf balls. I'll let you go, like, um, purple number over the purple dot over the number or sometimes I'll circle the number and then in here 
I've just got like some pitch mark fixers, ball marks, and got just like a uh, pitch mark fixer, ball mark thing that I bought, along with uh, just a hex wrench for my driver, and then I still have the FootJoy Contour Casuals, but I'm going to need to move up a size this year, so I'm either going to get like Contour Casuals again, or I'll do probably, probably either these or True Links Wears. Um, or I might buy some Adidas Samba golf shoes, which you can buy cheap online, just because I still get the benefit of the design of, like, a spike list, but then with spikes, so I get added traction. So, yeah, that's what's in the bag for, uh, 2013. Hopefully have a good year. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.